Hello and welcome everybody back to Sky Factory 2.5 with me, Buster. Hey, how you doing? I hope you are great. I am fine, thank you. And I messed up, <laughs> big time. <laughs> um, at the end of last episode, you may recall that we got our blaze spawner. And um, we did so to set up a, a blaze grinder. But in the process of doing so, um, I lost the dolly. It's gone. I believe uh, it is because I figured out um, how to link the ender pouch to an ender chest. Uh, I simply built the wrong one. I built G, um, the regular one, this one, where I had to actually build um, the other one, which I can't find. And this one from Ender Storage. So that you can link to your pouch. And after uh, that, I broke the old Ender chest and linked it. And uh, then I looked at the at my inventory and I was thinking about the build I want to do with it, and I couldn't find it. So it's gone. Therefore, the dolly is gone and the spawner is gone. <laughs> so we need to do uh, both again. So, there is the dolly, there are the diamonds, and now I will head back to the nether. Oh, this is already here, the building material I collected for the next project, and I prepared it. And uh, yeah, and now we have to do it again. So, um, I will see you in the nether. Alright guys, here we are again. Back to the nether. Oh wow, even without... Even without strange potent, nice. Um, so we are uh, here on, on top of the nether uh, fortress. We were last time. This is my little casing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that started bad. Drink it, man. I didn't expect. That. G give me that back. I didn't expect that. All right, so, okay. Nobody can harm us now. Um, good, so let's head out and try to find another spawner. Okay, that happened. <laughs> And now back to the sheer endless task of retrieving my stuff. See you in a few hours. Alright, back to where we were. And back there is our stuff. Ooh, okay, so at least <clears throat> we have our stuff back. Man, it is so annoying to deal with this. I saw a spawner when I was trying to retrieve my stuff. I think it is over here. Okay, quickly, 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 grab it. Ooh. Got it. Okay, see you outside. All right. We made it safely back home. Man, what a journey. I even had to left a stack, uh, a chest with stuff in the nether, but it was just um, things I had to build for the stuff I left. Uh, I, oh man, man, man. That was hard. <laughs> so at least we now have a diamond dolly with a monster spawner, which is amazing. Unfortunately, it took me um, over an hour to retrieve my stuff again. So I don't have time to conclude my episode for today. That means I have to do it on another day, but um, I think that's okay. So uh, when we will see us in this episode, so only in a second from now, it will be Monday for me. <laughs> see you in a second. And that being said, welcome to my Monday morning. <laughs> I'm already at my second cup of coffee, 
which means I can form proper sentences and you won't be that much annoyed. <laughs> Hello guys. I hope you had a great weekend. Mine was actually pretty fine. I had a lovely barbecue with my family and stuff. Really awesome. So you're wondering what I am doing here. Um, I prepare uh, a build for this lovely beauty. The monster spawner with the blaze inside. We retrieved, uh, well, for the purpose of this episode, just a second ago. Um, and I wanted to do it below this platform where all our ore processing is. Oh, by the way, I uh, got distracted already. Nice. Um, I changed this again. You see jungle wood to jungle trees. Um, I think from the amount um, you get the best yield because jungle trees are really, really um, high up in the air. You get a lot of uh, logs from it. And we have a nice energy production going right now. Um, ignore this for now. I will come to this later. But um, for now, I think it is time to uh, I'll put this away just in case. Uh, it is time to build the platform for the blaze spawner. Okay, let's do it. platform is built and because we will make use of the natural spawning behavior from the spawner uh, we won't spawn them um, artificially we need to build it somewhere um, where we are around so we need to be in range of the spawner I guess 15 or 16 block is it um, so this would be the ideal place um, around here so uh, wherever we are in our base no matter if we're here by the storage area or by the smeltery or by the ore processing area, it will um, spawn blazes all the time. So uh, I think I will start um, right here and I will build it in a uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in the nine by nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Good. So we have um, we can make the most use of the spawner. The um, the inner area of the spawner might be a little bit smaller because um, the grinder I am plan using um, has a smaller area, I think. But um, let me let me just uh, finish the casing and then we will see. Here is everything we need for the uh, grinder and for a tank. So quickly grab all the stuff and build it. The grinder, I will just go with the, I'll first build the tank because I'm here right now. Um, for the grinder, I will just go with the, um, what is it called? Let me, let me look it up. Here, this thing from Mine Factory Reloaded. Um, it is um, the easiest method and it is um, the least optimal method or one of the lesser optimal methods, I guess. Because ooh, it's dark. No spawn? No spawn. Um, because you don't get the, uh, the most out of it. So let's place it here. And then when we pick up this hammer, we can see the area it will work in. Oh, let me, let me in. Hello. Show it to me. Hello. Oh, it will actually work in the in the whole area. That is nice. Okay, then I have to rebuild this wall. No, I don't. No, it's fine. Okay, good. Um, this is the area the grinder will grind. So the whole area um, will be will be used. Um, okay, good. 
So this is the grinder. It will grind the. I have to here the where the torch is right now. There will be the spawner. And I think I can already place the spawner. And here will go the tank for the mob essence. Uh, when you slaughter mobs, it will create um, essence stored in here. But once it's full, it will stop. So the essence will be transferred to the tank. And I hope um, it is okay that it's just besides it. And the mob drops um, will be... Um, pushed out to an adjacent inventory, so I need a chest. It's working just fine. Isn't that great? <laughs> One thing that is working for once. Nice. So we already have blaze rods. We already have sulfur, which is amazing. They drop sulfur on its own. So we don't even have to grind for it. <laughs> nice. And uh, here is the essence already filling up, although it is filling up really fast. Way faster than I um, anticipated. Can I pick the essence directly? No, I can't. Um, there is a way to, to transform this to a liquid experience, like I stored in the tanks from our experience. Um, but I won't bother with that for now. I will just watch them die. Oh, isn't that lovely and cool? <laughs> oh well. Yes, it is filling up really, really great. So um, this is this is still a little bit crude because um, the blaze rods needs to be um, processed further. Oh, oh, we need the torch here. Okay, very good. Um, the blaze rods needs to be processed furthermore because uh, they need to be pulverized for the sulfur we need. The sulfur we need um, for a lot of different things. So we need it for the for the uh, fertilizer. We ran out of fertilizer a long time ago. We uh, just rely on natural tree growth, or um, we twerk it every now and then. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> so we have that. Um, but it's annoying and it's a lot of time we can spend better. So now we have the blazes. And because we are on top of the spawner, it's somewhere here, um, the blazes will spawn all the time. It will be active even if we stand over here or at the storage area, it won't matter. So. Um, now, just quickly um, going over what I did here. Um, the the sifts won't keep up doing what they're doing. Oh, this is empty now because I, I um, removed this pulverizer. But you can see here, it's just one pulverizer and I upgraded it. It is now a resonant one. Uh, and I upgraded it, oh, I removed even the, the uh, speed upgrades and you can still see it's piling up and the sifts uh, won't, um, won't get along with that. So we need to do something about that. I was planning on doing uh, multiple chains of uh, pulverizers and sifts for um, one dedicated to each material. So one dedicated to gravel, one to sand and one to dust. So we have a um, more reliable source of that. Then, um, one of the comments from, from Kick, I found this thing, the uh, auto compressor. It just compresses blocks um, in a 2x2 two two or 3x3, three three, um, depending on the kind of blocks it is. So we can form from this crushed and pulverized stuff directly the according uh, block form. So the, the, the um, or sand or, or gravel and put it in an adjacent inventory or do something else with it. The ultimate goal is to pulverize everything, um, form it into its um, according block form, then pump it into a smeltery, make the, um, the metal from it in its ingot or block form and uh, pump it out of it again. So, ideally, we have a chain where cobblestone 
automatically without we doing anything will get transformed into everything that's in here so here the ingots and blocks that is the goal and we have everything we need now from the from the blaze rods we can make this lovely stuff here the what isn't it shown what it is hmm. it is blazing pyrothium which is made from pulverized coal um, and blaze stuff so we can um Oh, I did this, by the way, to make um, Signalum, so we can upgrade the the machines and even the chests. This is now also a resonance strongbox, really, really uh, big storage space. So, this is all really kind of messy. Um, we don't have enough space to build everything we want, because everything is just all over the place. Uh, and now with the blaze spawner, we have the uh, possibilities to do whatever we want, because we have all the materials we want. Oh, it's <laughs> almost full. <laughs> Great. 15 blaze rods from just, from just a few minutes. So this will quickly fill up, I guess. Good. Now we have to pump them upwards, pulverize them, uh, bring them into something we can use, um, aka blazing pyrothium and fertilizer. Pump the fertilizer up there, so we have a constant energy production. Maybe even um, install a second steam dynamo. We will see, we will see. But uh, at least we did something. And uh, with that, and I hate this armor. <laughs> and with that, we will conclude the episode for today. I will work on something else for the next episode because I want to do something um, a little bit fun side project uh, with also, and there's my timer. Hello, telephone, shut up, please. Um, I want to do something a little bit fun side project, which also provides us with something we need. Uh, we will come to that next episode. So, hope you like this one. If so, please leave me a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And with that, I will say, take care of yourself, guys. Bye-bye.